Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we are continuing to look at SGA. Okay, so when a data is read from data files that are located in the hard drive, what happens is the data goes to the memory which is to SGA and then it goes to the database buffer cache okay so before that something happens what happens is when a data is requested by a client right Oracle looks for that particular data in SGA first meaning that it tries to find if it has already been stored in SGA. If it's there in SGA, it reads from SGA and presents that data to the client. Okay. For example, uh, you know, uh, client session wants to read a couple of blocks from table one and uh, what happens is Oracle goes and checks its database buffer cache of SGA to see if those blocks are already there in DP buffer cache. Okay, let's just assume this is the first time after restarting, I mean, after starting uh, the Oracle database. This is the first time someone is reading from table one. Okay, let me call it table underscore one. Okay, so obviously the data will not be there in the buffer cache. So that process, I mean, that act, that event is called cache miss. Okay, because it was not there in the cache. So then it goes and reads from disk and let's say this table occupies three blocks. Okay, and just for uh, you know explanation purpose, let's assume each and everything is a block and uh, it puts block one here, block two there, block three there. Okay. Okay. Now, next session comes and they want to read the same object table and nothing has changed since the last read action. Okay. So, again, when the next session wants to read the data okay Oracle goes and checks the memory database buffer cache okay and this time it finds the data in the cache and it reads from the cache and gives the value gives those block the or the information to the session that asked okay so what did we understand from this session one read from the disk to get the data okay and session two read from the database buffer cache or if I uh, explain it in detail session 1 to give the data to fetch the data for session 1 Oracle did a read from disk that's operation 1 and it put the data in database buffer cache okay and then it read from memory okay and then it gave to 
session one okay so what is this operation called this is physical input output okay because it read from the physical device and what is this operation called which is reading from memory it's called logical IO so what is this event for the first session it did not find the data in the cache so that event is called cache miss <coughs> okay so now let's just say there is a second event okay let me just change the color I'm sorry there is a second session okay for session 2 what happened when it wanted to read Oracle found the data in the memory okay and it sent the data from memory to here okay so let's just analyze this process it found the data in memory so what is that called it's called I don't have space <laughs> okay cash hit that event okay because it had a hit in the cache which is a good thing okay and it sent the data directly from the cache to the session so it performed a logical IO but what was not performed a physical IO was not performed so what do you think would be would have been faster obviously session 2 right this would have been faster because it does it didn't have to read from a physical device which is generally slower than reading from memory okay so this is how most of the basic operations they occur okay thank you for watching